character arcs and how you go about developing a character, um, how you go about uh, coming up with the arcs and, and uh, maybe working in, you know, supporting characters or subplots? I tend to write from the ground up. I think okay. in scenes, I think in snatches of dialogue, I think in character ticks. And, and so it's this really weird process. And I'm not claiming that one is, is correct or the other isn't, but I tend to, I tend to have specifics within scenes and interactions. Um, and then at a certain point, uh, when I've gathered enough of them, a sort of character starts to take hold in a way. And so it's almost like I'm gathering these pieces of yeah. yarn and then at a certain point I'm ready to knit them into a full character. And I know that I have a character usually for a story if I'm beginning something new. When I have a character, a specific character who collides with some form, for me, it's usually an ethical dilemma okay. that that character would engage with or interact with in a way that is unique to, to them. Yeah, is not a way that an ordinary that, that the average person would react in that circumstance. So it's like you kind of start from the outside in, really, and you you start piecing it together, and then you kind of let this character come to life over time. Does that sound about right? Yeah, you know, it's funny. My third novel, I was dealing with a character who is a uh, a pretty dysfunctional, mentally unstable character, and I met with the uh, one of the uh, psychiatrists at what was then NPI, the Neuropsychiatric Institute at UCLA. And we okay. I'd done all this research and I was like, well, he's kind of schizophrenic, but this part is borderline and this aspect is histrionic and which fits under it and what's all the what are all the pieces. And he looked at me finally and he said, look, you're describing a character to me who is fully formed in a way like how the patients are. All of the descriptors that we use to label them are just that. They're sort of umbrellas under which we gather things, but most of them are not otherwise specified, NOS. And you're yeah. actually describing somebody that it seems like you have a clearer view of their idiosyncrasies and their texture, then there's no point for you to pull them into something that's two-dimensional from the DSM-4, right? Yeah, and, yeah. And so it was very interesting. It was an interesting... Um, it was an interesting way to get tapped out of me starting to move from what my instincts were into a, into a mode of research that would have been unhelpful. And so okay. it was kind of affirming for me to keep things in my head flexible and not try and lock things into specifically with characters. So you start with the character first, and then you kind of come up with the moral compass of what journey you want to put this character through. Does that sound right? No, because sometimes I'll have like the dilemma, but I don't have the character who's met it. Like, okay. oh, wouldn't it be a cool situation if? Gotcha. You no, know, like one of my novels, uh, The Survivor is about, I, I, I just had an opening notion, which was, what if there's a guy who's going to commit suicide? He's on the seventh floor of a bank building in downtown Santa Monica. Right. Looking out at the ocean, we come up with him. He's standing on the ledge. He's about to jump. And all of a sudden behind him, we hear gunfire and the window to his side gets painted with a swath of red. They've shot someone and they're robbing a bank. And this guy who instant before was going to plummet to his death with no regard and no care whether he lives or dies instead goes through the window, picks up a gun that one of the robbers had set and confronts a bank heist in full process. I had that hook, but then yeah. it became, well, why is he on the ledge and what's his backstory and what's his skill set and what's then interesting and what's then surprising beyond just the high concept. And so that was an example where I had an opening scene and then I stitched a whole story together, kind of walking back from that, but just from seeing this, seeing right. a guy on a ledge in this situation. 